Hi Floss Tube. this is Kathy the Kentucky Woman Stitcher and I'm back for video number six. Happy New Year! It's been quite a while since I've uh, visited with you. Uh, December was so busy and the first part of January has been equally busy. Uh, and as you can tell I'm fighting a cold. I sound really nasally and I am sorry for that. But I'm just so glad that I was able to visit with you today. Uh, I know it's a little late for Christmas, uh, but I also know that I've got things going on the next couple of weeks. And if I didn't go ahead and do this video, it would be February. And then I would have two months there that I hadn't done one. So. Uh, I'm going to be sharing some Christmas things with you, and I'm going to be uh, sharing some uh, winter things with you. More Christmas than winter, but that's okay, because we need to keep Christmas in our hearts all year long. So, I've um, been doing some stitching lately, and uh, finished a few things. But what I want to show you first are some fully finished things. Some of these I finished... In December and some of them were finished uh, a while ago but I don't believe that I've shown them to you so let's go ahead and get started the first one is a homespun elegance bits and pieces called winter and I stitched this on 32 count Jobelin. This was stitched a long time ago, but I finally got it finished. And uh, I just made it into a little tuck pillow. It's got these little stars here on the tree, and then an ice skate here hanging from the snowman's arm. I've got some cording, and I just used some pine cone fabric on the back. So this is one that uh, is going in my winter bowl, my winter basket. So that's the first thing. The next one is a freebie from uh, Erica Michaels called Winter Square. And I just have this little chart here. And I stitched that on 32 count natural linen. And it's got the little cardinal button on it. And I just finished it into a tuck pillow. Put some lace trim here and a little bow. Some cording. And used some holly fabric on that. And this is another one that will go into my winter basket. This is something I stitched a while ago. It's called S Snow Day's Bell Pull, and it's by Waxing Moon. And I actually did make it into a bell pull. I don't know if you're going to be able to see all this. I stitched it on um, banding. And then it had some blue on the side. And then I just uh, attached a little snowman jingle bell here at the bottom. And it's got just a white holder here with some blue ribbon. So here's a cardinal. And there's the pipe button. And so this is the little snowman up close. It's a little jingle bell. And then I just put some snowflake fabric on the back just to finish it off. And this is my last winter piece, I believe. And this is called Violet the Snow Woman by Sisters and Best Friends. 
And there's two patterns in here. You could make the little uh, stand up or sit up snowman, or you could stitch a uh, stitcher uh, as a sampler. Well, I chose to make the little sit um, snow woman. And here she is. You uh, could get a kit that um, had the little stockings. And you just stuff the little stockings, and then she sits on a shelf. It came with the little snowman, the little carrot nose. She's got violets here. These are all Smyrna stitches, these that are standing out. The only thing I did different was change the scarf. I didn't like the f it had flowers cross-stitched in there, and I didn't like that. I thought it was too busy, so... And I can't even remember what I did, but I chose uh, two different colors of over-dyed floss and just kind of made it a heathery-looking scarf. And then I just, just finished with plain fabric on the back. So she sits on a little shelf. And there's also Forrest the Snowman. And maybe I'll get him stitched one day. But those are my winter finishes. The rest, uh, I believe I'm going to show you, are Christmas finishes. So let me take just a second to get these winter things out of the way. I discovered when I was uh, making, or going to make my basket for Christmas and my basket for uh, winter that my goodness, I didn't have enough things to go in the basket. I had plenty of ornaments, plenty of Christmas ornaments, but not uh, many tuck pillows that could go uh, into the basket. So I'm going to have to remedy that. Okay, so moving on to Christmas ornaments. And I probably should have started with those, but these winter ones were on top, so that's what I started with. The next one is um, called Merry Mitten, and it's by Homespun Elegance. And I stitched that on 32 count amber linen. And a little snowman, there's a snowman brass button here. He doesn't want to stand up very well. But then when I uh, made the ornament, I just stitched it in the, I mean, sewed around it when, in the shape of a mitten. And put cording and a hanger on it. And I just used some Christmas tree fabric on the back. The next one is by Lizzie Kate. It's from Flora McSamples 2016 Treats. And I stitched this long pillow at the top. Do you hear what I hear? And I stitched it on 32 count Mystery Joblin. I have lots of pieces of Joblin. I don't know what color they are. And I used all the called for threads. The only thing I changed was back stitching around the sheep and around this little box here so that they would show up better. And then I just finished it as a tuck pillow. I used uh, red polka dot fabric with some lace and some little green ribbon and a jingle bell to finish it. And I used the same kind on the back. So this is going in my next year's Christmas basket. But I think that turned out pretty cute. The next thing is something I stitched several years ago. It's by Cherrywood Design Studios and it's called A Baby, A Manger. Three Kings from Afar. I, when the first time I saw that, I just thought it was so cute. 
the way they finished it. And I made my first attempt to make it into a cube. I'm not sure how well it turned out. It's a little wonky, but it's still cute. And I'm sure this is also stitched on 32 count Jobelin. It's my favorite. So I made it into a cube. And I'm not sure I'll ever try to make this again. <laughs> because it was really tried my patience quite a bit. Uh, so I used to use some black and ivory fabric for the trim. And I used um, black and cream color cording. And I put some little beads on here for feet. And then just put a black ribbon with a star. And it's pretty big. I did put some um, batting underneath all of this to make it kind of smooth out. It says, a baby, a manger, a bright shining star. It's hard to read backwards. A shepherd and angel, three kings from afar. Sorry, I'm not focusing very well on those words. But it's only stitched in two colors. It was stitched in uh, mascara and honeysuckle. And I believe both of those are weeks. But, uh, I liked it when I got it stitched, and it turned out pretty good. Okay, so as a as a grandmother, we all like to stitch ornaments for our grandchildren, and I'm no different. I stitched uh, an ornament, Christmas ornament, every year for Silas, but I was a bad nana, and I never did finish them until this year. So this year, I, just, I decided that was one of my goals. I was going to finish these ornaments, fully finish them. And I managed to do that. And we put up a little Christmas tree upstairs just for Silas. And it had his ornaments on it. And we had some little uh, toy ornaments that we had found. And it turned out really cute. And I think that he liked it, have, knowing that he had a Christmas tree all, all of his own. So I'm going to share those with you. And these have been stitched over several years. And uh, the majority of them did come from the Just Cross Stitch uh, Christmas ornament issues. And I don't; these are not in any particular order, I don't think. I just stacked them up here so I could reach them and share them with you. So let's get a couple down here. The first one is from the 2001 cross stitch ornament issue. And notice I have a lot marked in there that I want to stitch. And it is called Christmas Cheer by Heart and Hand. And I did not have a, a holly charm to put on here, so I just had a snowflake charm, and I sewed that on there. And of course I put the year, and I put Nana on there. And then I just used some fabric scraps that I had with some gold cording on there. Uh, the next one is from the 2002 Just Cross Stitch issue, Christmas issue. And it's called Sweet Christmas. It's this one right here. And it's by Glory B. And I'm not sure what this is stitched on. I think maybe 28 count mushroom something or the other. But this was his 2012. 
and I just my cording and put a little hanger and some jingle bells on there. A little gingerbread man with a heart. And then I just used I had some fabric that had gingerbread men on there. And some Christmas or packages. So. Okay, this next one is from the 2013 just cross this just cross stitch Christmas ornament issue and it's called Roly Poly Nick by Hands On Designs that one right there and this is stitched on 32 count some kind of linen cream linen and instead of putting the stars that were on the little garland, I put some jingle bells and just made it a jingle bell garland. It's got cording and then just some looks like holly berries fabric, red and white cording. turned out pretty cute. And the next one is from the 2011 Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament Issue. And it's also by Glory B. And it's called Snow Happy. This one right here. Right here. And I stitched this on a 28 count opalescent Lugana. Can't really tell the sparkles, but it's there. And it's got blue and white cording as trim. Put a little light blue bow there. And I just had some snowman fabric. And I used for the back of that. Okay, this one is from the 2008 Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornament. And it's called A Christmas Song by Full Circle Designs. And I believe I stitched this on 32 count doubloon. I just thought this was so cute. And it had, here in the little pot for the Christmas tree, it had a star stitched in there. In metallics and I decided I didn't want to do that so I just filled it all in with the same color and then sewed a little heart button there you can see this was opalescent doubloon you can see the sparkles a little bit there so it's got green and white cording on it and then just some green fabric on the back The little cardinals are so cute. To me, cardinals say Christmas. I just like cardinals at Christmas time. The next one is from the 2010 Christmas issue. And it's called Merry and Bright by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I'm going to say, mine does not look anything like that. I stitched mine on 32 count frosted 
Cranberry Joblin. And hmm, I know I changed this red, but I cannot remember what I changed it to. But anyway, I think it shows up pretty nicely on this fabric. And the white really pops. And it's got the same color cording as I used to stitch Mary and Bright. And then I had just some pine bough holly berry fabric that I used to finish it on the back. I know pink is not really for boys, but I thought this design really looked good on this color fabric. And it's not not really pink, it's more of a, well, maybe it is pink, <laughs> I don't know. The last, no, I got a couple more. The next one is from an old, old, old book. This is from 1983. It's called Christmas Miniatures by Dale Burdett. I mean, this is probably one of the first books that I ever bought. And it had all these different ornaments in it. And I stitched the little uh, engine locomotive here. Whoops. And this is stitched probably on a 25 count something. And I used some navy gingham homespun. Use some navy rickrack here. And then it's got uh, navy and cream cording. And just use the same thing on the back. But I thought that turned out pretty cute. All the little boys like trains. It's it's stitched over one with one one strand of floss. I don't know if you can tell that or not. I'm getting a pile of stuff here. The next one is from Lizzie Kate's Tiny Tidings 17. And I stitched Celebrate. And it's also stitched on 32 count mystery jobelin. And I used all the called for threads. Little beads for the snowflakes and a red button nose. And red and white cording. And then it's just got some red, green, and white polka dot fabric on the back. Now, the last one. This was the 2003 Prairie Schooler Santa. I, was, I think I showed that as one of my whips in my last video. But it's stitched on a 32 count Simply Sage Jobelin by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I used all the called for threads, except I did use some petite treasure braid to make the little snowflakes on the stocking. It doesn't sparkle much in the video, but it does when you're looking at it. And then I just had some red fabric, and I used green cording. So this is finished just like the other uh, preschooler Santa that I showed much earlier. But those are all of Silas's ornaments, and he liked them, and uh, I enjoyed stitching them, and I'm going to enjoy stitching several more, I hope. 
Now I have some things that I uh, have finished, but I haven't fully finished yet. So I'd like to share those with you, and they're still uh, Christmas. It seems like Christmas is still in the air. That's probably because we didn't celebrate Christmas with uh, Silas and his dad until this past weekend. They, you know how it is when uh, your children grow up and have families and busy lives, and you know you can't always get together on the uh, designated holiday. So you celebrate when you can, and so we celebrated on the sixth, and we just had um, a lot of fun with them, and. Our tree is still up. We haven't had a chance to take that down, so everything was still decorated for Christmas just like it was Christmas Day. So that was a lot of fun. So these are some things that I've uh, just finished, or finished within the last week or so. This first one is a merry-go-round squareology uh, called Holiday, and it's hands-on design. It's the little red pickup truck with the Christmas tree, which was so popular this uh, year, this past year. I'm sure it will continue to be. But I've got this done. And it turned out pretty cute. That button just really sets it off. Uh, this is stitched with three strands of floss, which whew, was a big pain on 32 count linen. It was you had to use short strands because it frayed a lot. But I think it's going to be really cute when I get it finished, and I'm going to finish it in some kind of round ornament. I'm not going to use the um, hoop as it's pictured. I'm going to come up with some other round way to finish it. Another one that I finished was a Lizzie Kate called Winter ABCs. Once again, stitched on 32 count mystery Dublin. The button that I had to go on this was way too big, so I just stitched the mitten. And I'm just going to frame this on a, in a little tiny frame uh, with probably no glass with batting underneath it, just like I did the autumn ABCs. But I think that's that's cute, nice, and green and red and Christmassy. The next one is from the 2017 just cross stitch arma issue. One of the very few things I found in here to stitch that I liked. It's called Peace by From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. Wendy. And this is stitched on a 36 count linen. I'm not sure the color. And I used all the called for threads, which was only three. It was um, a green, most of it is green, and then country redwood, and then there's the uh, these things here are stitched in walnut. Well, I think that'll be a cute little ornament. Okay. That's all the stitching I've got done. I've got some whips that I'm going to share with you and some goals. I don't have very many goals. I'm going to uh, work on some things to go in my basket, 
my monthly basket because as I uh, said I discovered I didn't have enough uh, Christmas things to go in a basket or winter things to go in the basket well I definitely don't have anything else except for autumn so that's one of my goals is to work on some smalls to go in the basket and then I have two big whips that I'm car I carried over and it's my goal to finish both of those this year because one of them I've been working on for over a year I started it in 2016 so I want to get that done and um, off my conscience because it's been such a long, long time since I started it but let me just share my whips with you oh my goodness I found another one this is another uh, last Christmas ornament for Silas it's this one right here it's called Merry Christmas 2015, which is also by From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. And it's stitched on 32 count cream colored linen. And it's got red and green cording, and then I had some Christmas tree fabric, so I just used that for the backing. promise that's the last one all right this is a whip that I showed you before I don't know why I can't get this done it's because it's small it's little house needleworks my house I've got some more done than I had last time but it's still not completely finished and I need to get that done I got the door filled in and the wreath and the snow and the tree there's some snow down here and then I've got to decide I've been debating do I want to put our name here do I want to say maybe Merry Christmas and leave off this bottom border that's been my dilemma I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with this but it's stitched on 32 count tea coffee dyed opalescent fabric that I dyed using uh, Vanna's bake and basted method so I just have to decide what I want to do with this and then just get it done the next one is one I just started a couple of days ago this is also a little house needleworks uh, as you know or most of you may know that on the Little House Needleworks, Country Cottage Needleworks Facebook page. They're having uh, year-long stitch-alongs with different themes. They're doing uh, the series sale and the ornament sale now. And this is for the ornament sale. And it's uh, Merry Christmas. It's really cute. And I'm stitching this on 32 count uh, chocolate delight Wexford linen and I used all the called for threads except for barn door which is what the house was stitched in the barn door that I had was really a light rusty color and I didn't like that so I decided to use the DMC equivalent which was 3777 which is much redder and I like that a lot better but this is turning out cute and I think it looks pretty good on this chocolate fabric alright now these are the two whips that I need to get finished the, my larger whips first one is patriotic poppies I with thy needle and thread, Brenda Gervais. And I started this back in the spring, I think. And I still don't have very much done. I've got, the, I've got the um, wagon done, and just maybe, and the flag and two letters over here. So still, I haven't gotten this finished. 
and I need to get it finished before it's 4th of July so I can display it for that. It's stitched on 40 count helix linen by Picture This Plus. And I think that's a good color. Everything stands out on it. And then the other big one that I need to finish is And Heaven and Nature Sings. This I started in October of 2016. And I haven't made any progress on this since the last time that I showed it to you. I still have a headless deer. So that's one of the reasons I need to get this finished. It's going to be beautiful when I get it done. It's stitched on 40 count legacy linen by Picture This Plus, which is a great color for primitive looking things. My goal to finish both of those big projects this year. Now, I think that's all the stitching I've got, but I did get some uh, cross stitch things for Christmas. My sister was uh, kind enough to gift me with uh, several things that I had expressed an interest in, and I, I appreciate that very much. So it's just a few things. Um, this is what I bought for myself, though. This is Plum Street Samplers um, Jack's Sweet Shop Mary U. And I'm going to uh, actually finish that in the tin. And I'll get it stitched, of course. This is uh, Silver Creek Samplers. This is. It's on the back. Olivia Ochre Leaf. I just thought that was so cute. You know, I love autumn colors, and this just kind of jumped out at me on uh, uh, one of the websites I was looking at. Her dress is all made of leaves. And it says, she wears a dress of scarlet red and orange leaves from overhead that sparkle with a frosty glow soon buried in a winter snow. So I think that is really cute. And then this is another Silver Creek Samplers. It's called Freedom Rains. Sorry for the glare. I forgot to take these out of the bag. It says the bell proclaims on Liberty Hill, freedom reigns and always will. And you know, I'm a big patriotic fan. So that'll be cute too. Now, those I bought myself. These are the ones my sister gave me. This is from Hands On Design. It's Wreath House. It's got all three of the houses and the words. Um, Home for the Holidays. So that's cute. And then I'm into Cinnamon Stick Santas. So here's one called Santas Aplenty. And there are three different Santas there. Four, excuse me, four different Santas. And one says Mary, and one says um, Jolly cheer and love. It really is hard to read backwards sometimes. But they're all really cute. And here's another cinnamon stick Santa. This is the sampler Santa and if you watch uh, Lori on Mischievous Stitches you have uh, a Mischievous Stitcher I think she is. You've seen her show this, and I'll probably do something like this, or I know I won't make the stand up, that's stitched on fabric that's way, way too big. 
And then I got the drawn thread, deck the halls, and that's stitched with silk thread. But that'll be cute. Like I said, I love cardinals. And then, yay! Hands on designs, let it snow bungalow. I've been waiting for this to come out. So that's going to be cute. Well, that's all um, I have. It's um, been an unusually warm day for January, but here in Kentucky and several other places, we're expecting a big winter storm tonight. We could get, um, they're saying we could get a quarter inch of ice and then three to five inches of snow on top of that. So, you know, everybody had to run to the grocery store today and get milk and bread and uh, eggs and whatever they might need if they get snowed in. That's kind of a southern thing. And anytime we hear about snow coming, we always have to go to the grocery. So, and I'm, I'm one of those two. I went to the grocery this afternoon, and believe you me, it was really crazy there because everybody was at the grocery today. So, I survived that and got home and was able to get everything put away and get settled in for the night because it's sometime after midnight we're supposed to be getting all of this winter weather coming in here and that's supposed to go all day tomorrow as well so as a teacher I always looked forward to maybe some winter weather and getting a day off from school and I, I know I have lots of teacher friends and they're still hoping for a snow day tomorrow so we'll just have to wait and see but I'm very thankful that you joined me today and I hope that you're all doing well and I want to say that I appreciate all of you that watch um, my videos and that comment and I hope that all of you that watch would comment because I try to respond to every single comment that there is and I hope that I haven't missed anybody. So I hope that if you are in um, the path of this winter storm that's coming in, that you are prepared and that you get to stay home if, in fact, it does hit. So I just um, want to thank you again and wish you Happy New Year. And... I hope that all of you are well. So until next time, bye. This is the view out my front door. It's really snowing hard. We started out with freezing rain. And sleet. Now we have snow. Lots and lots of snow. So glad we don't have to get out today. <laughs>